yesterday. Um, I think you're being European means being part of a big society and a big group, a big family, but full of different cultures and traditions that respect each other and a solidarity. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, for sure. Uh, I feel like I'm a European. Yes, I feel like European. I think European is the best continent on the world. <laughs> yes, I feel like I'm European. Um, I'm actually a mixed case, so I was born in the States, but because of my heritage, I'm Croatian by both my mom and dad, I feel more European than I do anything else. The European Union has given a chance for people to go through borders, to go someplace, try new things. Um, it, it has given uh, people um, the opportunities that they might not have had, had they maybe had to apply for a visa, had to apply for certain work exchanges, and so on. I don't, from my day-to-day my -day life, I don't think that much about Europe because I probably don't have to because my, my country don't like as, as I see it don't have to f think about it like we, we are kind of a part of it and I'm happy that I can be a part of it and that I can help other countries that might get in like in economic trouble or, or anything then I'm, I'm happy and uh, like we got healthcare and we can like help each other there's a lot of benefits about being a European citizen. Being European uh, made my life uh, much easier because I can travel uh, in, the, in Europe um, easier than before. Just with my ID, um, I, made, I met a lot of people in the meeting. In everyday life, I, I don't know, but uh, when I went to vacancy or when I watch the the news on TV, yes, I know I'm European, but I don't feel it like every day. I think the most important thing is that we can cross borders and go to our neighbor country and I'm studying abroad and she's as well. So we can go abroad without any more problems and I think that's the main big thing of the European Union that we feel every day. For me, it will be bad because, you know, in history, when there was not the EU, there was, there was war and it was really bad and all the country in uh, the Europe was like, I'm the better, no, I'm the better and there was competition and it was not really good. Now we are in the EU and all the people was like, okay, we can do, we have to, to do the best for the, the EU and like this the EU will grow with for it's better for everybody especially for Cyprus it will be really difficult because um, we have um, some friends if I can say it uh, that we uh, that help us our everyday life because I don't know if you know about the political, political problem in Cyprus uh, so our uh, European friends really help Cyprus. I think uh, then life would have been uh, would be very dif uh, different from now because uh, like she already said then yeah we, we couldn't cross borders so easy and it, it, it would be more difficult to, to know other countries too, so... We wouldn't be here today. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> Hopefully a lot greener. And... Yeah, I just hope a lot greener. I, I, want, I don't want that global warming. I, I, I like the Netherlands. I don't like... It's just going to disappear as the water rises. <laughs> that shouldn't be like that. Um, so just a lot greener and I hope a lot of people are happier and can like look beyond the title of, of, uh, of where you're from. I hope that more people see themselves as, uh, as European and maybe not as much as, um, as uh, Danish and just a part of Europe.
I don't know. Maybe there are some countries who are coming to join the European Union which aren't there yet. So, yeah, maybe. Yes. Um, maybe. I hope that we will grow to a bigger society even more because we are still. Yeah, there are many people who don't really feel the European Union and don't know the advantages of all of this. So I hope this knowledge will get uh, will increase. <laughs> I hope that it will be finally a community of all European countries able to go through borders uh, without any problems, uh, an exchange of uh, cultures, a change of people, which is the most important thing. Uh, but also, but you know, in, um, I think maybe people are afraid that European Union means losing your national identity. But no, I think it even strengthens it because you have a chance now to present your nationality or what you believe in to other people and see that people from all uh, over the world, so now in Estonia or in Spain or in uh, Italy, you have, even though you're from different cultures, from different cultures, you can share same views, same likes, same dislikes, disinterest and so on. I don't understand it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I've, I've tried, like, getting to like the bottom of it, like, where did it all start? Because, as I, as I said, I, I'm just happy to help and I see a lot of benefits of, of being the EU. And like, it's just like customs politics. It's like the most boring thing ever. Like, and I know, like, UK, like, you have it pretty nice as well. <laughs> so, and I see it, it costs a lot of money for you each year, but like, you, you got the money. So, so, so why? Why would you, uh, I see you want to spend it on something else, but you're just going to lose so much. You're going to, I know a lot of people in the UK, they didn't know what Brexit was before it was like too late. <laughs> uh, and now they just like keep you pu pushing the date because they don't even know what they want. Uh, so I think it's kind of crazy. I think it's, it's, it's a super weird decision that they just want to leave. But. I would understand if is if the the people of UK were just like yeah we don't want to be in the European Union, but they want to, <laughs> so so why not let them? Oh, I'm against Brexit. To be honest, uh, I don't think they should um, leave uh, the EU. Uh, I don't like Brexit. <laughs> I like the United Kingdom to stay with the European Union because as well as being one of its very first members, it's also one of the it's also one of the countries that I think helps to keep the European Union in both financially, politically and they're a strong country in itself and losing it would be a very big loss for the European Union. For what I know um, Brexit is not good uh, for the UK and the EU. Uh, I mean, it's not popular uh, mine, but I think for the Great Britons, Brexit is a good thing. Why? Uh, I think they uh, they will be more independent country. Uh, maybe um, it's some difficult. For the for the people for the citizens to uh, habits to new situation, but I feel I think it will be better for them. We don't like Brexit. <laughs> we think that we are part of a big union and everybody has to take its responsibilities, and we're responsible one for each other. And it's not so easy to just leave things when they get uncomfortable, but we have to stick together. First of all, I met uh, I met a lot of people. I made new friends. Um, I learned about uh, different cultures, languages, uh, traditions. Uh, I, uh, it was the best part of me.
that was the best part of me, uh, for me. Uh, I really enjoyed um, the trips, uh, our visiting to the museum, because it's something different. Um, I see the difference between Cyprus and Estonia, and uh, I, don't, yeah, I really love it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Charter, this is my actually my first big meeting, so I was very, very excited about going and experiencing all of this. Well, Charter, for one, for one thing I can say that never have I been to any meeting that has uh, brought together so many different countries in one place and offered an opportunity for people to interact, for people to get support for projects, for new ideas, for expanding relationships, uh, for seeing and meeting, as I said, new cultures. In itself, it's a very, the Charter is a very, very good idea and it's the way it's going and everything. Uh, I think the best things on the Charter is meeting new people from different uh, countries and uh, also now I have uh, great friends from uh, Estonia. Uh, my host uh, told me that when I uh, came back to Estonia I can stay uh, in their house. Okay. Uh, I think it's amazing. I think it's absolutely amazing. I was called up like three years ago just from a stranger. I, I just